Hey, my name is Ben Salstrom. I want to talk about bonding screws and their relationship to the way they're supposed to be implemented in electrical panels. So right here you can see I've got my main electrical meter which sends the main service wires into this panel. This is technically a cutoff panel and I've made a video about explaining what that is and when you need to have it. Uh, so these main cables come into here and it's similar to a regular panel except for that it has the main lugs for 200 amp service entrance cables that go to the house. So in here we have what's called a bonding screw which goes from the neutral bus, neutral and or ground bus right here, and it bonds it to the casing of the panel itself. So the bonding screw is used sometimes, but sometimes it is not used. And so I'll show you a close up of what it looks like here. Now depending on the brand of panel you have, your bonding screw may look differently. I think I've seen them as they have like a piece of copper coming off of here and then uh, clamped to the uh, casing, but in this case, uh, the bonding screw is that green headed screw right there. So that screw just simply threads through the neutral bus and goes straight to the back of the panel. Let's see if we can see it coming in here. You can see that it's coming through right there. Um, so that's the, that's the bonding screw and you leave that in there if the um, panel is your first item after your meter. So if your meter comes in and you just have a panel or if your meter is mounted on the house and it comes straight into the back of your uh, main panel then you're going to go ahead and leave that screw in there. Now if you have a sub panel situation anytime you have a sub panel that bonding screw needs to come out because the neutral is then separated and it is not connected to the ground in the same way. So in this case going down which into the ground which then goes into my main panel I'll show you in a minute we've got four wires we have our two main wires our two legs of 120 volts each and then we have our neutral which is this yellow wire with the yellow mark on it and then we have this wire right here which is a ground wire that's connected to that neutral bus as well which goes down there and I'll show you inside what it looks like here we are inside Here's our bundle of wires coming from the cutoff panel. And as you can see right here, where there would normally be that bonding screw that we just looked at, that bonding screw has been removed. So the neutral bus is now exclusively for neutrals and you need to add a grounding bar. And uh, I'll show you exactly how to do that. Um, but basically that fourth wire that I was showing you that was a little bit smaller, comes directly into your panel and is wired to a new grounding bar that then all of your grounds have to go to that. Anytime you have a sub-panel, anytime you have a sub-panel, the neutrals and the grounds have to be separated, so you're required to add a ground bar in order to ground everything properly. So the neutrals need to stay isolated to the neutrals and they need to go all the way back to the point of origination for the power, which in this case is the cutoff panel. So take that green screw that normally is installed when you first get your panel or however your panel is bonded from the neutral bus to the frame and chuck it in the grove and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.